Welcome back. We wrap up wrap up our Gonzaga oral history series this week with the most famous shot in school history. You know which one I'm talking about. I talked with Casey Calvary, Matt Santangelo, Mike Nielsen, and the team's TV play by play announcer now turned famous actor Eric Edelstein about the tip in that put Gonzaga on the map. For us, uh, you know, we had had uh, a couple unexpected wins already in the tournament. Um, but that, that didn't alleviate our hunger at all. Why not? We just knocked off number two Stanford. Why not knock off Florida? The Florida game was kind of our chance to show that that wasn't a fluke, that we could beat another good team, um, that we could beat anybody. It was almost like a wonderful dumb ignorance to it. Like, why not us? Why not? It was not the play that we ran. We drew up a different play in the huddle. I was pretty sure I was not going to get the shot. I'm coming off the weak side, and the ball was supposed to come to me in order for me to go try to make a play. As Quinton was penetrating, I was 100% sure that ball was going up, so I started crashing the glass. Good old Quinton Hall, he's not known for his listening skills, um, kind of, he got the ball, and he decided to go make the play. Obviously, it turned out wonderful. Florida guys didn't block me out, so I got a hand on the ball. Casey Calvary. He is the most mellow, wonderful soul off the court. But on the court, Casey would go through his own mother to get a rebound. You know, I'd never say that's a controlled tip. Um, maybe a, yeah, a little bit of chaos in there, hit the back rim, and off the glass and bounced in. It's the most ugly, beautiful shot I've ever seen in my life. They get the ball in, bring it up court, get the ball in the quarter to Eddie Shannon, who gets a fantastic look. I see him dribbling the ball up, and it's like pure fear. It hits off the back iron. And after that, it's, you know, Looking for somebody to hug. I think I just ran out of the court and started hugging my sweaty friends like it got weird. Richie Fromm kissing Casey, which was so funny to see. Those are two guys that we would never see them doing that any other time ever in the history of their life. But in that moment, it was just, it just seemed right. But Rich planting a, a couple big kisses on me. That's, that's brotherhood of Gonzaga basketball. Munson comes in and here's the head coach. You know, he's supposed to be composed and, and have a plan and know what to do. And he comes in and he's rubbing his hair and he's going like, and then we gotta, we gotta, I don't know what we gotta do, but we'll figure it out later. It was just such a cool time because we were just in the moment. And, you know, every, really every hour, something cool was happening that we could just, like, enjoy. We were kind of making it up. No, we weren't kind of. We were making it up as we went. I mean, it was just the most beautiful thing ever. Just the best feeling that you've ever had in your life multiplied by 10. No thoughts at all, just the elation and the thrill of victory. When I look back on my highlight of my career, it was kind of cool to know that it wasn't even a time when I was playing. I love competition so much, and there's nothing as much fun as winning. And winning in that fashion, that's the ultimate. It's awesome. That just goes to show you the how special that team was, how special the, the players and the people were on that squad. It was like the big zag in the sky just kind of oversaw everything and said, this is how we're going to start. There are so many other amazing tidbits from the story that had to get cut for television, but we're going to put the quotes online, including how the team got interviewed in a hot tub after the Florida game, the shirts that embodied their mentality, and just how Eric Edelstein finagled his way onto the team airplane for the NCAA tournament. We'll be right back after the break.